Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, like I said, I'm doing a lot of work, trying to get a lot of things taken care of. You guys don't know about this form. This is FS Farm 2481. Uh, hold on a second. Let me just show you what I'm doing. The, I'm just going through, this is 2018. I'm just typed in debt, sample collateral agreement, okay, project. All right, I'm just going through old files. This file has been on my system since 2018. This is application for recognition as natural guardian of minor, not under legal guardianship, and for disposition of minor's interest in registered securities. People want to know about how to gain control of securities held in their minor account. You have every right to do so. The minor is that all caps name. How can you prove the minor is the all caps name? We've given you the infinite state documents. Okay, just that simple. And here it is, Bureau of Fiscal Services. Now, the form may have changed, so I'd go, stop that. I'm not trying to change them. Cancel. I'm not trying to change this page. I want to stay on this page because I got to show you something else. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a document that was put together by our write-off department. Pay attention. The authority to make credit or refund administrative offset, transfer debt to the treasury for collection. These are the codes. Common law right of agencies to recover debt is limited only so far as Congress has enacted legislative statute. However, your common law right to offset debt is not limited in the same way the government is limited. Pay attention. The Debt Collections Act were intended to supplement, not displace, the government's pre-existing offset right under common law. Same thing we've been talking about. Like I said, I've been talking about offset for years. And I just asked this person who we had in our write-off department to prove this information. All right. Got that? Got it. Write-off procedures. Write-off procedures. Here are the acts. Debts that are 180 days delinquent must be sent to fiscal services unless exempt. Here is the code. Are you going to be putting that stuff on the internet? This is internal. This belongs to SACOM. This is the research we've done internally for our organization. Okay, the information is out there, so why don't you just start with 31 U.S.C. 3711. Just start there. Just start there for now. Now, we'll be talking about this stuff as we go along. Okay? By the way, ladies and gentlemen, just so that you guys understand, this is for the California Fiscal Services Department. This is the judicial branch. I mean, excuse me, branch. <laughs> Not the judicial branch. This is the Supreme Court's Judicial Council for the state of California. This is to let you know that they engage in commercial business on a regular basis. This is what they do. This lets you know, now, of course, we know they ain't beginning with no $160,000. We know that their budget is in the millions. Okay? We know that for a fact. That's why, pay attention, see that? That right there lets you know that this doesn't equate to 160000 All dollar amounts are reported in thousands. Pay attention. All dollar amount are reported in thousands. That's what the triple zeros are. So this is not thousands. Their budget is not 136,000. Now, I didn't read over this before. Like I said, I don't go through this junk uh, ahead of time. Here's a document that we have on the site. Now, pay, 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 pay attention. Where the credit and debt section, we don't know who removed the documents from that section, but I uploaded documents to the credit and debt section some time ago. And guess what? They're not there. So they're being uploaded again as we speak. As we speak, no, as I speak. See, look at that, transferred, 34 documents. And pay attention, mortgage promissory note, loan promissory note templates, physical promissory note, promissory note, real estate, standard promissory note, Unsecured promissory note. Ladies and gentlemen, 37 
files, but there is over a hundred documents because these are zip files. There is over a hundred documents in just the credit and debt section alone. You want to get rid of your debts? You want to correct your own debts? Well, here's the information. Again, as I told you all, this is not our information, not all of it. This is just general information. Now, I'll say this again. I went through each one of the documents, perused them. Some of the individuals are marketing and selling this because they put it together. And I am not here to rain on their parade. Each one of these documents are at least 10 years old. What I am here to say is anytime you use case law, anytime you use the codified statutes, which are not law, but they are codified, and that's why, because they're not law, Westlaw, Cornell Law, and all of these other places get to copyright the books because they created it. Anyone who has an issue with us putting information up, just show us a disclaimer showing that you have power of attorney. You have received authority to take their copywritten material and profit from it. And you'll have no problem with me. I'll take it down in a split second. You won't even have to ask. But as I said, anytime you use public information and that information is given to the public, provided to the public, paid for by public dollars, then you cannot possess it. It is not yours to possess. See, that's why I don't get angry when people take documents from our site and they make it their own. Because I told you, you take our stuff, make it your own. That's the whole point. Make it yours. It doesn't belong to us. But what I did say is when you take something you get from us for free and you go out there and you then don't alter it at all and charge people for the same, no, 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 no. I will roast you. Okay, see, that's how things are supposed to be done. Now, I got to go back because what I haven't done is finish the work that I started. You haven't finished. Once you get started, you never get down. I'm sorry. Um, that's Shaka Khan and Rufus. If you file a joint return and you're not responsible for your spouse's debt, you're entitled to request your portion of a refund back from the IRS. Now, let me show you why I'm showing you this document, okay? Because it is necessary. Somebody went and highlighted some stuff on this document, and I like what they highlighted. Refund and offset for unpaid child support, certain federal and state debts, and unemployment compensation. The Department of Treasury Bureau of Fiscal Services issues IRS tax refunds. The Department of Bureau of Fiscal Services issue IRS tax refunds. The Department of Treasury Bureau of Fiscal Services issues IRS tax refunds and congressional authority authorizes the Bureau of Public Debt, Fiscal Services, excuse me, to conduct the Treasury's offset program. Through the Treasury offset program, the Bureau of Fiscal Services may reduce your refund over payment and offset it to pay past due bills. Bureau of Fiscal Services issues tax refunds, not the IRS. Okay, there you go. So this is from the IRS. This is topic number 203. What I want you guys to do is go ahead and look at topic number 33 or 203. Now, we did tell you have the right. You have the right. You have the right. Absolute, positively, duly, you have the right. Now, when I say these are not our documents, and I'll give the gentleman his credit. Where is his name? His name is on this document. You see, first thing, you'll never hear me say things like this, we as Christians, because not everybody who calls themselves a Christian, and I'm not talking about this person at all, not mentioning this towards him at all. But not everybody who calls themselves a Christian is a Christian. I have a lot of people who claim to be Christian, but the lives they live, well, it ain't, I'm sorry, it ain't nowhere near what a Christian should or should not be doing. Now, see, this thing says, this particular form last revised 2006. 
okay? Now, first, he uses the New King James Version. Forget about this. This, this, All the paperwork in there talks about discharging debt and A for V and all of that. You want an edumacation? There you go. Edumacation. But again, you see how he uses U.S. code? Well, you can't do that. And then charge people for it. Yeah, I know, I know. It's, it's a common practice. People do it all the time. But go and take a look at the U.S. code. It is copywritten material. It is trademarked material. That's why nobody else can create a title or a statute that says 26 U.S. Code subsection 7701 and then give it a different meaning. No one can do that because that's illegal. I promise you they have several statutes for that. Now, he not only uses the... And I'm not faulting the individual for this. I'm saying that these individuals simply didn't know. Okay? Now, again, because people simply didn't know this, that's how I explain to people that we are not sitting up here taking advantage of that. We put the information up there for free. We don't go about advertising and say, oh, no, don't go to their site and get it. You can come to our site. No, nope, we don't do that. It's not our job. Our job was to take information, put it online to help you. You got a problem with that? I don't have a problem with that. Well, then leave me alone. I don't want to hear it. Now, this I do believe, and I promise you, I don't believe this is from Tex, but I believe this is from a young man, Tex Mason that I know, but I'm not sure. And now if Tex says, hey, that's my, take that down, then me and Tex, we have a relationship. I will take it down at his request. I doubt if Tex will ask me to take it down because he will know that I don't put his stuff on my site. I just saw the name Tex and I think it might be his, but if he wants it down, all Tex has to do is contact me and ask me and it comes down. Why are you doing for Tex? Because me and Mr. S have a an understanding. I respect that young man. All right, getting back. Thanks to Jonathan, accepted for value success. This document is also up on the website, the Dissolve Your Debt templates. And he talks about the accepted for value and getting it to work. This was 2010. Again, when I say that this stuff has been on my computer for years, when they took down the 40 gigabytes worth of documents, 40 gigabytes, not 40 megabytes, not 40 kilobytes, not 40 bytes, but 40 gigabytes worth of information. And they keep messing with our site. So I'm just going to keep putting it back up, keep putting it back up, keep putting it back up. And I'm going to keep doing videos saying, hey, we just put it back up. Download it as fast as you can. Just download, download, download. We're not charged. You download as much as you want. Just shut down the server if you want by downloading. We have unlimited access. So go ahead and download. Download this stuff. Store it. If you want to focus on debt, then focus on debt, people. If you want to focus on something else, then you focus on that. But don't try to do what I do. Don't try to do 17 things at one time. 17 things. See, this is the last video. Tender a payment. Ladies and gentlemen, you just have to understand the letter of the law. Now, is UCC the law? Technically, yes, it is. It is the Uniform Commercial Code. It's the law of commerce. Pay attention. It's the law of commerce. Anybody engaged in commerce needs to know the laws of commerce because commerce is a statutory, congressionally controlled arena because Congress is the only ones who are in charge to regulate commerce. Hold on. Hold on now. And they gave partial authority to the United States Treasury Secretary. If you don't believe me, go back and look at the March 9, 1933 Act. <laughs> they also gave partial authority to regulate commerce to the president. 
But I thought there's supposed to be separation of powers. They are separated. Oh, God, from you. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, real quick, wanted to get this out to let you guys know that the files are being uploaded. There are two folders that they're in. Not going to make you search for it. One of them is the debt folder, and the other one is the documents folder, trust documents folder. There is a document that we've added to the trust. We added about three documents to the trust documents section to better help you guys understand trust, especially the law of the trust, the 90 basic principles of a trust that the grantor's intentions is law of the trust. That is, hey, Star Trek, we got Captain James T. Kirk, Captain, I don't like him very much, Luke Picard, and I am not a next generation fanatic. It was an all right series, but I did not like Picard. I did not, in my opinion, did not think he was the best Starfleet captain. Then you have Cisco, Captain Cisco. I like Cisco. Cisco was okay. The Dominion and all of that. And then you have Jane. Yeah, she was okay. But they don't have Bacula on here. I like Scott Bacula playing. No, I didn't say Dracula. I said Scott Bacula. Okay. He played in Star Trek Enterprise. What, wait, 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 wait. I, I can't even think of the name right now. Come on, Scott Bacula. What, what Star Trek do you play in? <laughs> Hold on. Give me a second. I got I to find Scott Bakula because now I have said his name. Scott Bak, You know, Quantum Leak Scott Bakula. Yeah, see, I, I didn't want to, you know, throw it off because, look, Scott Bakula, he played Captain John Archer. Jonathan Archer, okay? And he, he played in Quantum Leap like I told you, but he played Jonathan Archer in Star Trek Enterprise. See, I didn't want to mess up by saying the wrong Star Trek Enterprise because you know it was called the USS Enterprise. So I was a Star Trek fan. That's why. I, I But I had to get Scott corrected because Scott, he's all right. Just like uh, Mr. Anderson had played in um, my other series, the Stargate series. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you get so distracted. No, I don't. Because we're going to get right back to things. The documents that have been put on the site, if you want to have a better understanding of debt, it's there. The documents that have been put on the site, if you want to have a better understanding of trust, they're there. We will have everything up and going as far as the new programs by Tuesday, the 27th. That's promised. 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I got to go back to work. I've been working so hard and that's a fact you guys know the song right you've been working so hard and that's a fact anyway ladies working my way back to you babe okay ladies and gentlemen seven days a week you guys hear me say that i have people calling me they're expecting me to be all bushy tail and nice little sugar and spices and everything nicest ladies and gentlemen i don't think so i don't think so life doesn't work that way let me say it again i don't think so with all of the work that this man is doing and i do mean all of the work that i am doing it is not possible for me to put my number up there and for you to expect that I'm going to sit up here and be bushy-eyed and cordial and giving you every ounce of every bit of every moment of my time. No. If I got to go through it, you got to go through it. So if you call me to waste my time, then you're going to get my waste my time attitude. Now, I don't hang up on people unless they give me an option. And that is piss me off. So if you're going to call me to waste my time, then you're going to get my waste my time attitude. I had a young lady says, well, I just want to ask you a brief question. And then the person asked me, okay, I just want to ask you a brief question. Then the person asked me the same question three times. 
Now, I was just talking to somebody who works for the California state government. She says she was talking to somebody because they are doing their calls from home. She was talking to somebody and the person asked her, was explaining something to her. And she listened. She says, well, look, I, I don't have a lot of time. So what I need you to do is I need you to listen to me. And he says, and he explained it again. She says, sir, I don't have a lot of time. I have to take other calls and I can't spend a lot of time on this call. We're restricted by policy. So I need you to listen to me as I explain what you need to do. And then he explained it to her again. She said, sir, I don't have time to listen to. And before she could say anything else, he got upset because she said she did not have time and would not allow the to listen to you. Then he told her he was recording the call. And after he got upset and called her a mother, I mean, a effing, uh, you know, that type of stuff. Uh, you know, he called her a B.I., you know what I'm saying? And so when he, when he did that, you know, conversation ended. And she was disturbed by it because, you know, she, she can catch an attitude with you in a split second if you wanted to. But she told me, she says, I was trying to be as nice to him as I possibly could. It had already been a long day. She said, but then he said he was recording. I said, don't worry about that. Because all he did was record you trying to explain it to him and him interrupting you. So by all means, let him use that recording. That's to your benefit. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am not the only person who's going through that, which is why we haven't started the phone system here at SACOM. The reason why I haven't started, and yes, our phone system has been up, if you guys have known, we've had the 800 number for since the beginning, since 2017. We have never utilized it. Yes, we pay for it every single year, an 800 number. We have to pay for it, and we have not utilized it. Why? Because we know, sorry, how some of you are. And because we know how some of you are, I don't want to put anybody through that. Plus, any information you need, you can get it from the website. <laughs> Sites. Okay? So that is going to be my suggestion for the time being. People want to get answers to their specific questions regarding their specific situation. SACOM is not that type of organization. We are not here for you to ask all the questions in the world. You do not get to ask us about how we accomplish what we accomplish. Like I just told you, you see that document that talked about the write-offs? We, this is not our first rodeo. We didn't just start doing this yesterday. I just haven't had time to focus on it. Now, we have people who are putting in applications to come uh, be a part of the company. You don't get to come here and think you're going to be a part of this particular department. That We have departments, so everything is a department. Our write-off department, our child support department, these are all departments. They are separate things where separate groups get assigned. No, you can I have that? No, you don't get to raise your hand. No, Mrs. Crabtree ain't having that. Okay, send you back to your room with some castor oil. You don't get to sit up here and tell us what you want. Okay, this ain't that type of world. You don't, this ain't your world. You don't get to just sit up here and say, well, I want a diamond ring. And, 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 and if that diamond ring don't shine, I, I want a bottle of wine. And if that bottle of wine ain't, you see, you don't get to do that. So we put in a request for people who have skills. And we're going to be reviewing those applications over the next few days, Saturday through Sunday. Remember, the cutoff date is two days from today. The information is on the website. Many people have been writing, when are you guys going to start your new program? That information, the exact date, is on the website. You'll have to read. You don't get to just ask a question. They go to our website to ask a question that's on the website. That's why we don't have the phone system up. If you don't want to take the time to read, then have the computer system read it for you. All you have to do is go to the App Store or the Google Chrome Store or the Extension Store for your web browser. Type in text to Speech, text, T-X-T, to the number two, speech, or text, T-O, speech, and get an extension 
that will read the information to you. We're not here to do your research. You must do your own research. You must do your own research. Let me say that again. You, 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 you must do your own research. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I do have to go. I know you all have to go. Thank you for taking the time. I know, I know, there was no music. That's okay, did that intentionally. Have a good day, everybody. Sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. Bye-bye. Flow! Hey, hey, she broke